Hey guys, so I want to do a little update. Um, I did do some work on the shorty, Shay and I did some work on the shorty, so we'll be dropping a video for that um, probably Monday. No, probably Tuesday. This will come out Monday, so that'll probably be Tuesday. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit. One of you guys had asked about this, so I did a couple samples of some mixtures. So this is vegetable oil that has been settling for a long time, but it was vegetable oil. Uh, what was it? I'm trying not to shake it up too much. So 50% veg, 50% diesel. Yeah, 50% diesel. This one was 50% uh, or no, 80% oil. I wrote it on there. No, sorry, 50% oil, 20% gas, 30% diesel. And I did that because somebody asked me about settling or separation. So the day that we that the person asked that when I did that black diesel video, which we're gonna do a bunch more on, I did these samples. So you can see they have not separated at all. The black diesel one might be a little bit harder to see anyway, but but what I wanted to talk about, just so you guys know what's going on, I'm waiting for a couple things to come in. I ordered some stuff, some laboratory stuff, so we're going to get into doing some laboratory stuff. Not really laboratory stuff, but um, what I wanted to talk about was I want to do some viscosity testing because that is a question that I've been asked a bunch is how much you put in, why you put this much, why you put that. Not that I ever really did the viscosity the way that I'm, I'd like to do it, is that I would, I, for my own doing, I'd like to know. So what we're gonna do is a bunch of viscosity tests with uh, vegetable oil, diesel, gas, mixtures, um, like that type of stuff and see where the viscosity, well, I'm just gonna do an ambient temperature. And then probably what I'll do is I'll do a the same thing, but in, I'll just throw it in the freezer, which I realize isn't you know as cold as it could be but it'll give us an idea what the viscosity change is when it gets really cold. So I just wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna do that. Also, hit me down in the comments and let me know if there's anything else you want me to do as far as that goes. Now I did buy, I'll put a picture of it in here. Um, I did buy a WVO Designs um, centrifuge because I would like a continuous run centrifuge. We're gonna do a bunch of this stuff. I like a continuous run centrifuge instead of the little guy that I have. So I might um, give away the centrifuge that I have. I'll clean it up and give this, just the centrifuge itself, not the pump, but just the centrifuge itself away if you guys are interested in that. Um, you know, we'll do, when I have the website going, which will be very soon, I swear, very, very soon, um, we'll do a giveaway type thing with that where you buy a hat or a t-shirt or something like that and you get entered into it into for the giveaway. So in my other hand, my hand's getting sore. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, but if there's something you want me to do, so I'm going to do, uh, waste vegetable oil, black diesel, um, engine oil, uh, you know, any of that stuff that I can get my hands on. I might even do maybe kerosene for the viscosity cause I can buy a gallon of kerosene. Um, let me know down below though, if there's anything that you want me to do it on. And we're going to do a fleet of videos about this. Lots of guys seem to be interested in, and I'm interested in learning more myself. So we'll do some testing and find out what we got going on. Uh, update on the three quarter ton or my 95. The damage is considerably more than I have anticipated. So now I'm gonna have to fight with the insurance company over it is what it is for the fix of that. So I got to see what's going to go on with that before I spend any money on the truck or change anything around because they might write the truck off. And if that's the case, then that truck will turn into a different truck. So let's see. I don't know what's going to go on, but I'm not going to do anything to that truck as far as switching the engine over and doing all of the uh, conversion stuff that I was talking about. I am going to start doing some conversion stuff because when whichever truck it ends up going into, I would like to have the system ready. So as soon as we can get it in, I can, so that we're not burning so much diesel fuel um, because I would do, I want to do some driving around and some, and some, I got to do some towing in the next few months and maybe probably tow my RV trailer around. I might actually buy a different RV trailer, um, but we'll see what goes on. Anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments with any questions or stuff you want me to do on the black diesel alternative fuels, let's say, alternative fuel thing. 
Um, and uh, remember, it's not rocket science.